Hello guys, Silver Butterflies here. Uh, today I will show you uh, two perfumes created uh, by Pierre Bourdon, the perfumer. So that would be Dolce Vita and Tibini de Bois. Uh, the perfumer Pierre Bourdon is quite a famous uh, perfumer with a lot of gems. But uh, precisely, uh, he was working on Femini de Bois with uh, Christophe Sheldrake and with, uh, for, on this one he was working uh, with Maurice Roger. So this one, two, uh, it's like two perfumes uh, with one uh, perfumer uh, was working with their partners and uh, a little words about Pierre Bourdain. He uh, was actually uh, learning politology. Uh, he is a very um, artistic person, loves literature, uh, Balzac, for instance. But uh, his dad actually insisted for him to be a perfumer because his dad was working for Christian Dior. Uh, perfumery so that's how he insisted uh, for Pierre uh, to go to Graz um, School of Perfumery and that's how he became an um, apprentice of uh, Edmund Rudnitska and that's how it started so he actually gave him this uh, magic uh, you know knowledge to create masterpiece uh, which is bring you back exactly like a time machine and uh, its compositions it's like it's not just a chemical plant it's uh, perfumery is mystery and uh, emotions so this is about emotions that's why it's old perfumes now these perfumes they are maybe good but more and more and more they becoming similar or somewhat similar and this is unique and that's why I refer you guys um, to get back to um, old school guys, old school perfumers, whatever they created and work in this key. One more perfume I can show you. This is um, Escada. This is his creation. And it's like, it's bring me exactly back in the 2000, beginning of 2000. Uh, even if it's a new created formula, but uh, the composition itself bring you exactly in that memories what happened with me in that years and uh, two more things I wanted to emphasize he was working for Davidov and he created cool water but I don't have cool water right now at the moment although I have it somewhere at the house I have cool water Davidov wave unfortunately it's not his creation but at least the brand he was working for and another brand he was working for is Luciana Soprani. So he created perfume called D, but I have Donna, which is kind of in the same key. Uh, it's like magic. It's like a mysterious opera singer. This is my emotions. So uh, I compared both of these perfumes, Femini de Bois and Dolce Vita. Because in the beginning, I was thinking is something similar about it. Yeah, some kind of cinnamon note. But this is more vivid and uh, bubbly girl. Um, she like bubbly uh, champagne. Uh, but this girl is uh, kind of uh, very mysterious and dark and sad. But not in sad that something bad happened. Sad because like she liked to, to be nostalgic once in a, in a while. But they are kind of similar and not similar in the same way. They are more darker. I prefer both of them to wear. Depends on my mood. But for instance, today is dark and cloudy. I will wear this one. And what you're going to wear yourself. Uh, try to have a look. What you have of Pierre Bourdon as a perfumer in your collection. And drop me a note. And until now, I leave you all the best, guys. Bye for now. I'm your silver butterfly. Сейчас маленькое вступление. Я делала видео, думала об одном, 
Потом прочитала информацию, думала о другом. В общем, получилось, как получилось. Смотрим видео.